One of my favorite quotes is, every system is perfectly designed to get the result it gets. A healthcare expert named Paul Batalden said this, and it applies perfectly to CPS. It was as though CPS was a system designed to fail half of its students. If you want to get different outcomes, you've got to change the system. How did they do it? They started where they were sabotaging themselves. There were some discipline policies, for instance, that were actively sabotaging their students. That was never the intent. They fixed it. Second thing is, if you know that the ninth grade is a critical inflection point, you want your faculty A team teaching the ninth graders. Traditionally, your best faculty wanted to teach the juniors and seniors because they were more mature, they were smarter. But if ninth grade is the critical year, you want your best people there. And most important of all, they had to adopt a new mindset that we are here to support students. If there's a student struggling in my class, failing in my class, it's no longer okay to detach yourself and say, that's their problem. Now, it's our problem. They found out some creative ways to collaborate with an eye towards supporting the students. They created this, this structure called freshman success teams, which involved every ninth grade teacher meeting together on a regular basis to talk about students. Meeting by meeting, student by student, school by school, month by month, things started to change. 20 years later, last year, the graduation rate had gone from 52% all the way up to 78%. Can you imagine? One observer called this the largest change in the history of any urban school district. One estimate says that there are 30 thousand students who now have high school degrees, who in our alternate world where this work did not happen, would have dropped out. Every one of those graduates, by virtue of earning that degree, will get between three hundred dollars and $400,000 in incremental lifetime income. You multiply those numbers together, what you realize is that this intervention provided over $10 billion and counting in societal value. That's extraordinary upstream work. 